The ancient Greek philosopher Aristotle once said, We are the sum of our actions, and therefore our habits make all the difference. We are not defined by that one thing that we did that one time, or perhaps this other thing that we shouldn't have done that other time. It's a great deal of wisdom for someone who did not have access to the Holy Bible or any other of the books that we take for granted. Now, I'm sure a lot of you are scratching your heads like, okay, great staying, McKee, but what does it have to do with anything going on in Florida or flooding or anything like that? Well, there have been folks for quite some time saying that eventually Miami and South Florida was going to be underwater because of, quote-unquote, man-made global warming. Being caught up in their emotions, they did an incredibly poor job of communicating what the real story was. You see, climate change is different than global warming, and then when you add man-made on the front of it, you make it a political thing. Instead of trying to create solutions to adapt to what was eventually going to happen at some point, they tried to manipulate people's feelings, believing that's how they would get the action that they desired. Well, that clearly hasn't happened, but it's happening in a way that nobody predicted. You see pictures like this that show this stark contrast between the left and the right, and a lot of people just wash their hands up and say, ah, look at the difference. Look at the... There's no big difference going on right now. No big difference. Well, the difference between somebody who's in great shape physically and somebody who's in terrible shape is only a tiny little thing. And in today's video, I'm going to show you this. This tiny, itty bitty little thing that you can either remove from or add to your life can make all the difference in the world. You see, Florida's kind of the tale of uh, two different cities right now, North Florida and South Florida. South Florida is underwater. While Track the Tropics says there's absolutely no threat here in North Florida, I have to run my sprinklers. Some years ago, I planted some fruit trees, and they're going to die unless I put the sprinklers on them. That's how dry it is in North Florida right now. Now, this is one of those kind of very strange battlefield of the mind things. A lot of people have their mind made up that, uh, global warming is some uh, cooked up scheme by the Democrats to take people's money and control them and do all this. No, it's not. It's real. And all of the little, the little qualifiers like man-made and all the little solutions that they put to it, like getting rid of your SUV. You see, those are all of the emotional responses. But the idea of the climate changing is true. And I'm going to prove it. I'm going to show it because even in the rest of the world and any other thing you can imagine, it only takes a little tiny change, a microscopic change to make a catastrophic difference. Florida Maki, microscopic changes don't make catastrophic differences. Oh, sure they do. They do when you add in the concept of time. Now, if you'd like to join us, Florida Maki Patreon channel, one US dollar per month. It's where we talk about this stuff, even less if you sign up for an entire year, fully refundable, first 90 days, no questions asked, not going to waste a lot of your time, I know it's late, let's get right to it, three minutes, 50 seconds in. Now, as I said, down here right now in southern Florida, the governor has declared an emergency, a disaster, because of the huge amount of rain. Now, not hurricanes and not wind, just rain. But you get up to Daytona, Palm Coast, St. Augustine, it is dry as a bone up here right now. It is horrible. Now, I'm going to show you something that's probably going to confuse you a little bit, but stick with me. Stick with me. It can. Sh it's something that will illustrate how one teeny tiny little harmless thing can make a catastrophic difference. Lord, I'm okay. Wait a minute. Hold on. We just changed gears. We were talking about the weather, and you were talking about Aristotle, and now you're showing me some picture of some fruity little summer drink. Well, yeah. How many of you have seen these little tiny itty-bitty mini bottles of uh, Fever Tree um, soda? Uh, they make ginger beer. Um, this is Italian blood orange soda. 
And they're basically used for vodka spritzers, very a popular drink. A lot of people think, you know, it's kind of a healthy alternative to drinking hard liquor or beer um, or even wine because, oh, wine's all full of sugar. I'd like to pose a question. Let's say you decided, you know what? I really do enjoy the, the taste of this soda. So I'm going to, at the end of the day, have one single drink. I don't now. I don't now. And my weight is, we'll just say my weight is 190 pounds. Okay. And I'm going to have one of these little teeny tiny bottles of this soda. And I'm going to slice up an orange. I'm going to eat the orange, have the one teeny tiny bottle of soda in a glass with some ice and one little shot of vodka. And that's going to be my treat at the end of the day. Just the one. Not going to have two drinks. I'm not going to cut up any more fruit. Just one orange, one small orange, one little bottle of soda, and one little shot of vodka in the bottom. That's it. Now, at the end of a year, if you did this every day, how much weight do you think you would have gained from this one little drink at the end of a year? What if I told you at the end of the year, you can do the math, you will have gained 30 pounds. Flory Maquis, that can't be right. It absolutely is. If you do the math on this, this, this little bottle here is, well, it's only 35 calories. You can go to Amazon and, and look at it, and it's right here. Let's see if we can find it. Yep, nutrition facts, 35 calories. There it is. And a little shot of vodka, 97 calories right there. And 45 calories in the orange. So 180 calories. Just one little drink. One teeny tiny little drink, 180 calories. Not having two of them, not having three of them, just having the one. And it's fresh fruit. Got the fresh fruit. If you add 180 calories a day, 180 calories a day to your diet, at the end of a year, you will have gained 30 pounds. Now, how many of you would want to gain 30 pounds just for having one tiny little refreshing drink at the end of the day? Many people wouldn't think that's the case. But that is the case. You, you can do, do the math for yourself. Let's see if I got the calculator up here. You take 180 calories times 365 days, 65,700 calories. Now there's 2,080 calories in a pound of fat. 2,080. 31.58 pounds. Even if you did it every other day, that's still an extra, what, 16 pounds at the end of the year? You wouldn't even think you were doing anything wrong. You see, that's the crazy part. A great person to confirm this um, is somebody that I've recommended on this channel many times here on YouTube, Tim Bassett. Uh, the guy's uh, many years older than I am and in absolutely incredible shape. And he can tell you for a fact that getting in shape, staying in shape is about the little things. It's about the habits. It's about the things that you do all the time, whether good or bad. You see, you would think this was harmless. It's not a six-pack of beer. It's not an entire bottle of wine. It's just one little vodka spritzer and one little piece of fruit. That's it. One small orange. And, and not even a, a full like can of, of soda. It's a little tiny 200 milliliter. Itty bitty thing. You could you could drink it down in pretty much one swallow. Just that. That's all it would take. The soda, the fruit, and the little shot of vodka. That's it. Imagine that causing 30 pounds at the at the end of at a presidential administration. Let's say you had started doing this when, when Biden took office. You'd be pushing a hundred pounds right now. You'd be pushing having gained a hundred pounds. 
just by having this one little extra drink. Another great example of tiny things. Hot tubs are supposed to be somewhere between, oh, say 100, 104 degrees. And they say, nah, sit in there for 15 minutes, you know, maybe half hour tops. Try turning it from 104 to, say, 107, just three degrees. Now, most people, most people, when they walk outside, if you ask them, is it 83 degrees or 86 degrees out here? Most of them probably couldn't tell you if it was 83 or 86 degrees. But in a hot tub, that would be the difference between being a little bit warm and earning yourself a trip to the hospital. Just to be clear, Consumer Product Safety Commission, I'm not recommending anybody do that, by the way. Hot tub water temperatures do not exceed 104. And even for me, 104 is is up there. You don't want to be in a 104-degree hot tub for very, very much time, especially if you're imbibing anything, for sure, or if it's even a hot day. You might be able to get away with that for a little longer if you're in a very cold temperature, cold air temperature to, you know, uh, mitigate. But I think the final person that would probably talk about little tiny things over a long period of time making a huge difference would also be the Patriot nurse. The herbs and her medical prep course, they're they're not going to be instant fixes for anything. I think she'd even say that. But the long-term use of the herbs that she suggests over a long period of time will make a big difference. So you can see this, and let's see if I can bring up these pictures real quick. Hold on. I wanted to share these. This is how hot it is in Florida, right? In North Florida, hot and dry. I can count on one hand as many times during the middle of the day as I have ever seen does out with fawns. They're looking for water. This is a picture I took from back on the 10th. 9.15 at night. 9.15 at night, it was still 90 degrees at 9.15 at night. And this is only June. And I came out later, sorry about the blurry, but 10.24 at night, still 88 degrees. This big cat, middle of the day, just out strolling around. They're out looking for water right now. That's what's going on. It's a uh, catastrophic uh, drought and heat wave up here. So I will leave that there. Um, Check out the Patriot Nurse. Check out Tim Bassett for sure. Um, This is kind of the point that I was trying to make with all of this is that people saying, oh, one or two degrees, not going to make that big a deal. It's, it's not that big of a difference. Over time, it's going to make a catastrophic difference. And it's real. If you don't believe, I mean, here in Florida, we're living it. Half the state, half the state is underwater. And there hasn't been a hurricane. Half the state in June, in June, is underwater. And the other half, is parched, dry as a bone to the point where we have to to run sprinklers. And it's just, it's Aristotle level wisdom. I mean, it truly is. It it can be proven in so many different things. Just do the math. All of the years of pumping all this crap into the atmosphere is the same thing as just having the little vodka spritzer. A one people think a hundred and fifty calorie drink is not that bad, Florida Monkey. You're right. One one hundred and fifty calorie drink is not that bad. One. But if it's a habit, even just one a night, if you've maintained your weight over a long period of time, and you just make this one change, make this one change. Let's say you do this, let's say you would do this. And that would cause you to want to go to bed an hour earlier or even a half an hour earlier. 
that would make you gain even more weight. Because you could do the math on how many calories you burn awake versus asleep for one half hour times 365 days. And then do that math over one presidential administration. And lo and behold, you're talking about a major, almost, I guess the term is correct, catastrophic life decision. Just this one little drink that seems so harmless and almost would seem to be healthy. Some people have said, you know, one shot of vodka a day is not going to harm you. It's it's actually healthy. And, you know, this, this little, the, I've limited the soda down to this tiny bottle. And then I had a nice, fresh fl- orange, you know, a piece of fruit. No possible way this could cause harm. But it does. When you add in the factor of time. We are the sum of our actions, and therefore our habits make all the difference. Hope this helped. God bless. Thank you guys so much. Very, very much appreciate all the support. Pray for me. I'll pray for you. Pray for each other. Lift each other up. Like, share, subscribe. See you guys next time.